So there was a pastor that was upset with his congregation because they wasn't giving him enough money with tithes and offerings so he could buy him a couple of items. Let's review it. See, that's how I know you still poor, broke, busted, and disgusted because of how you've been honoring me. Oh, it's getting good. They are poor, broke, busted, and disgusted because they did not honor the pastor. I'm not worth your McDonald's money. Come on. Come on now. I'm not worth your Red Lobster money. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I ain't worth your St. John Nick. Y'all can't afford it no how. <laughs> He's up here just straight up insulting them. And they saying, come on now. I ain't worth y'all Louis Vuitton. Come on. I ain't worth your Prada. Come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on. <laughs> Now, of course, you're not worth the drop of piss to me. I mean, but oh, but hey, they, they you know, I guess you you sounding good to them, Rev. I'm not worth your Gucci. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, Mother, oh, I'm saying this, and I promise you, Deacon, it is not with respect and won't. I'm saying it because I want you to understand just what God is saying. I even found out that Mavado, you can buy a Mavado watch in Sam's. Yes, you can. Yes, and y'all know I asked for one last year. <laughs> you heard it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And he said, like, you know, I asked for one last year. Here it is the whole way in August. I still ain't got it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Let me kick down the door and talk to my cheap sons and daughters. Oh, my God. See, see, this is why this is why the, the black church in America is just not respected. Like, how do you sit up there and listen to this guy? This guy is supposed to be preaching the Bible and you so materialistic. You are all ate up on materials. And listen, it don't, it, it's okay for you to buy something, but you do it by the sweat of your brow. That's how you do that, brother. The sweat of your brow. But you feel that you need to come in there and hustle poor, broke, busted, and disgusted people. That's according to you. And, and the crazy part is in the church, they can go and insult people like that. Say that, oh, yeah, God's speaking to him through us. We need to give to the man of God. You know, the people getting their lights cut off with the, with the pastor got a, a 10,000 square foot house. You know, the people is suffering, you know, in their neighborhoods. But the pastor is riding by their neighborhoods. Like, oh, y'all need to pray a little more. That's what the pastor is doing. See, like me, I, I don't I don't fool with their churches. Because I seen the, I seen the hustle. I know a hustle when I see them. I see the finesse. It's not about helping people. It's not about anything. You can have your own personal relationship with God yourself. You can read the Bible yourself. You can pray to God on your own anyway. You don't need that, that, that dude saying nothing. Like I say, he's just hustling you. And unfortunately, a lot of the women in our community will, has been extremely faithful to these church houses. And then these preachers out here sleeping with these women, getting them pregnant. And still in the pulpit, got whole wives and getting these, getting all kind of women pregnant. Single mothers in these churches, you need to tie to the man of God. Or some of them got a man, they they'll go up there and listen more to what this man say than her man at home. You busting the dough down to go do something for this preacher, but you won't cook a meal for your man at home. Come on now, I was, <laughs> I know about that in the community. The man said, I mean, you always at that church house doing this and doing that. You, you, you always in that man's face more than you in my face. Then you want to get mad when your man tell you that. You over there that, that, with that preacher so much, they think you got something going on. This dude here say, you at least go to Sam's Club and get him a Mavado watch because that, that's what he need. He need that to preach. He need that to pass to the church. I'm about to watch. Don't you got a cell phone in your pocket? That's a good enough watch right there until you can afford to buy you a Mavado watch. Yeah. Y'all let me know about this dude here. Now they say he came out later and apologized and this video went viral. Of course. Um, he don't mean that he just got caught and, 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 and that's it. You know, this is what he preached is what he meant. He said, he y'all congregants is he looking at y'all as a lick and y'all better go buy him that Mavado watch. It's August and y'all still ain't bought that watch. Y'all better get to it. 